This is McTile, my brand new tile restricted ultimate Ironman. I started with just a single tile, and every 1000 XP I gain, I get to unlock a new one. I'm unlocking RuneScape one tile at a time. The goal? RuneScape's biggest challenge, the Inferno. In the last episode, we went on a questing spree with eight days worth of tiles that we collected, ultimately completing Fairy Tale Part 1 and unlocking Fairy Rings, giving us access to 46 new locations in the game. The code to this Fairy Ring is AKS. The Feldip Hunter area, I can finally start training Hunter. We need to talk about the game plan. You can't train Hunter without traps. The Hunter Emporium is all the way over in Yanil, and it would take me hundreds of tiles, which I don't have right now, to get there. I don't know how well known this is, but there's a little place called Land's End, which I did visit a while ago when I was trying to move my house here. This entire area is like a DIY hunter spot, and some of these houses have hunter equipment in them. Not just any equipment either, but pretty much all the hunter equipment I ever need, which means I shouldn't have to ever unlock the Hunter Emporium in Yanil at all. I can just live off this little area for all my hunter needs and then go back to the fairy ring to actually train it. For now, this is our crate. I'm gonna be hunting birds for uh, a long while, uh, longer than most people spend hunting birds on this game. Just gonna steal four bird snares for now, just in case I lose a couple. And let's head over to the beach and catch some birds. But first, you guys have had cereal, right? You know, Fruit Loops, Cocoa Puffs, whatever you're into, and then you eat all the cereal and all that's left is the cereal milk. Imagine that, but it's good for you and tastes even better. Dream no longer, it exists. Today's sponsor, Control, has brought it to life and Control is a meal replacement protein drink and it is so, so good. By far the best tasting protein shake I've ever had. It hits all the boxes. It tastes good. It's good for you. It's so much better than other protein drinks out there. And for people who are busy as well or just don't feel like putting in the effort to to make something, this stuff will hold you over until your next meal. It's packed with everything you need. Control has also done a lot of R&D to make the best meal on the go bar on the market. I actually looked at the packaging on these and I just, I knew they were gonna be good. They're super similar to protein bars, but they have more macros to keep you feeling full and really what more could you ask for? They're great. After tasting every flavor, I felt qualified enough to make my own bundle on the Control website. Cookies and cream, cocoa crunch, and cinnamon toast, the three greatest flavors ever made. You also get two bars and a really nice white shaker cup for a little over 25 bucks with this bundle and you can get another 10% off on top of this with my code. I genuinely think this bundle is amazing value. Really excited for you guys to try this stuff and you can use my code for an additional 10 percent off there's tons of starter kits on the website but you know my kid is the best i'm kidding go try what you want use code settled go check out control it's wonderful when your hunter levels one your options are pretty limited i will be hunting crimson swifts at the feldip hills beach so uh let's use the rest of our tiles to get over there tiles to make our way over here and I think I'm just gonna set up right here I don't know how good this is gonna be chances are I might need to head a bit more east into the beach but I've seen some birds float this way what people usually do for hunter training is the Verrock Museum mini quest which automatically gets you to nine hunters so you can skip this part entirely if I were to do that mini quest it would take me 500 tiles for a one-off thing and that's just not worth it so this is our temporary home I get 34 XP every bird that I catch and yeah, it usually doesn't work. So I'm gonna have to do this until at least 27 Hunter. So I'm gonna be here for a bit. A lot of you were doubting me. I knew you were, but you know what? I've sat here for, actually, that probably took like 10 minutes to, to get that level. That was 100 XP. Whoa, six hunter, eight hunter, nine hunter. All I gotta do now is uh, repeat what I've already done 10 more times. 27 hunter is 10 times the XP of nine. Fun fact. 10 hunter, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 hunter, 16, 17. There's 18 hunter, 19 hunter. Now trap tropical wagtails. Those are somewhere out here and I'm definitely not gonna go unlock them. They're three times faster than what I'm doing right now, but uh, I think I'd rather just book it to 27. This is the level that we've been waiting for. Now I can place two traps, so I've literally just 
Effectively doubled my XP per hour. Now I can catch two red birds at once. And there's 2100. 22. My red feather collection is coming in nicely. I've buried every single bone that I've gotten from these birds, and we have 45 prayer. Now I have mystic might, 15% extra magic accuracy. That's right. That's big. It's not really that big, but there's not much to get excited about on this beach. 24. 25. I literally am not sure how long I've spent here, uh, but it has been most of today. There's 27 hunter that was the only requirement for eagle's peak which is why i can actually stop for now that's the quest i have my sights set on right now it unlocks an amazing hunter training method but only later on i need 53 hunter to actually use the method that it unlocks which means i still need a better method until then and the master plan right now is to go to piscatoris there's a fairy ring that takes me straight there and there's a ton of ways to train Hunter here. And if we take a look down south, we have the Eagle's Peak. The further south I go, the closer I make my way to this quest, which this is a devastatingly expensive quest when it comes to tiles. I'm estimating somewhere between five and 600 to complete the quest. Now you may be asking yourself, is it worth it to invest 600 tiles into Eagle's Peak? The answer is yes, absolutely. In fact, it's a must for the master plan. You know, I always say it's not a day until you've harvested something, I've just decided. So, 23 farming. All right, it's time we add a new fairy ring to the travel log. AKQ, Piscatoris Hunter area, my temporary home for, um, uh, temporary. I'm actually running extremely low on tiles. I don't know if I have enough. Uh, these are prickly kebits. I can't even catch these. I think those are 37. I can catch these birds, but I'm not interested. Well, it was a good run, but I need to get over to that boulder right there and eight, seven, six, five. We're, we're running low, guys. It's over. These are wild kebits, which I plan to hunt until 37 hunter, but at, at very least, like, we're halfway to the eagle's peak, so these tiles aren't wasted or anything like that. That. Like, they served a second purpose, and that's getting me over here. They are dual-purpose tiles, I'm coining that. So we're gonna have to go get some tiles. I'm just gonna get enough to get me to my next hunter training method, because I still want to train my hunter to get my tiles. I also still want to get 60 attack strength and defense, so this gets me a little closer to that. See you in a couple hours when... I'm done. I've had a really good day. I don't know about you guys. I just got 60 strength. I'm uh, going straight on to attack. But we have some hunter training to do because uh, I, I should have enough tiles now. 50 tiles should be plenty to get back there. Unlock that boulder. Yeah, honestly, having only one uh, tree here might be might be pretty bad. You need one log every single time you set up one of these traps. So I don't know if one tree is going to be enough. Oh my God, we caught one. 128 XP drop. That's like catching four red birds in a single kebit trap. All right. I think I'm coming more and more to the conclusion that the way to play this is to collect a bunch of logs in bulk. And then while I'm waiting for something to get caught here, I go and chop this one tree that I have close to me. It's not going to be great, but I have to get through this until 37 Hunter and it'll get a lot easier at that point. But I completely forgot you can only place one deadfall trap at a time because why, why else? I mean, it's such an overpowered hunting method. Why would you place two traps at a time? Here's 28 Hunter, the first level down. Now catch Gourmet Implings. You'll also notice that I do have some bird snares in my inventory. I've kind of been experimenting. I've been going up north here after I placed my deadfall trap. And I've been trying to place a bird snare so that I can hopefully catch one of these orange birds. And that way, hopefully, I speed up my XP per hour a bit. Dude, their little feet when they fall into this trap is so funny to me. 32, 65 woodcutting, pretty sweet. 33 hunter, four levels to go. Oh, they just keep falling for it, man. It's too easy, 35 hunter. Pretty much finishing up my day with 37 hunter. I'm about to go to bed. So very, very glad that I got this done. This has actually been an extremely long level and we're not even, we don't even get to move on to anything different. It's literally just a different type <laughs> of Kevin. I'm just gonna be doing the same thing pretty much. On the bright side though, I do get way more XP per Kevin, and uh, I also get way more tree access up north here. So we're gonna set up right here and these are our new victims. If I'm doing this all the way up until 53, I absolutely need to unlock some trees. I'm gonna unlock at least these two. I'll probably unlock that third one as well, but and I'm also gonna set up a bird snare and I should be able to finally catch these birds. I don't think I caught a single one while I was over down south, but 
now they are definitely close enough to the point where they could sit on the bird snare so at least my journey to 53 hunter will be a lot faster from here on out 204 xp per kebit very nice confirmed they are in range i can now catch birds and kebits at the same time thank you that is all rather than go to bed at that moment as originally planned i just ended up staying up and hunting for another two hours for some reason so oh very big level for the account 40 hunter i can now place three traps so my xp just got way faster granted it's not another deadfall trap that would have been really good but uh i get to place two bird traps now so i don't want to hear it guys it's a really big deal There's 46 hunter 47 hunter there's 48 hunter we're getting closer there's 49, the big 5-0, 50 hunter, 3 levels to go, 51, 52 hunter, 1 level to go. You know what bird snare you can despawn, I don't care, 53 hunter, I never have to catch another kebit of any kind ever again, I can now trap chinchomp as well, I actually can't, I don't have eagle's peak completed. I need Eagle's Peak to learn how to use box traps. So we've obviously collected quite a few tiles from this grinder up to 172, and we're about halfway to getting to the Eagle's Peak itself. Only problem now, of course, being that I still need about 400 extra tiles to complete this quest. The Hunter gave me a great boost and I'm glad I did it, but I still want 60 attack and defense. So that's probably what I'm gonna refer to. Unlocking dragon weaponry and also getting 60 defense is gonna be a huge help. So I think both of those things are on the to-do list either way, and they might get me close to completing Eagle's Peak. Training with a Rune Longsword is a long lost art form. And there's 55 attack, up to 248 tiles as well, or like halfway to what I need. Well, under normal circumstances, this would be my last ever kill with a Rune Longsword, but uh, even though I just got 60 attack and I can now use dragon weapons, 74 combat, by the way, we are gonna start training defense. I'm gonna need a diamond and about 130K cash, which uh, I am very far from getting right now. So I'm just gonna stick this out with the rune longsword. As much as it pains me to keep training with a rune longsword, I will just keep doing it until I get, well, at this point, it's just about the tiles. I need like a hundred more. So, so I'll see you guys uh, probably tomorrow is when I'm gonna finish this. Every time I say I'm gonna do something tomorrow, I just just stay up to an ungodly hour and do it the same night anyway 55 defense i should be able to do eagle's peak now i'm not entirely sure i have 474 tiles um i still have to get some stuff before i start the quest as well so ended up getting 10 extra tiles we'll see if that makes the difference i need a couple items to finish this quest and our first one is over here i need this swamp tar and of course we don't have to walk over there we can just telegrab this from a distance save ourselves the tiles and we are good to go. I only need one. Next, I need two onions because we do need to make yellow dye once again. So I'm just going to grab one and hop worlds. We use the onions on Aggie and we get some yellow dye. Okay, to start this quest, I need to talk to Charlie and Artie Zoo. And I'm not really sure how I want to get here yet. There's a couple ways I could get over there, but I think I'm just going to take this fairy ring DJP. It's actually a super popular fairy ring, but I'm going to be using it the opposite way of how people use it because I'm going to be going from the fairy ring to the zoo, I guess. So I think this is the best plan. My only way of Currently getting to Artie is through charter boats and I have to pay 500 coins every time I do it. Which if you see my inventory, not really an option for me, but, but I'm pretty sure this path is genuinely just the shortest path I can take anyway. So fairy ring number three to the travel log, DJP. This is kind of like a dual purpose fairy ring. I can't really do that much else here other than get to the zoo, but if I ever want to do the tower of life quest, this is definitely the fairy ring to go to. All right, so it looks like we're going to use about 85 tiles or so to get here and start the quest you know what it's not as bad as i thought i'll take it the arty zoo is also part of like five different quests in the game so you know what not a big deal i've been saying eagle's peak like 400 times in the last week and i really don't want to say it again i'm actually way closer to the campsite than i thought i'm only like 40 tiles away from this thing pretty much nailed it 50 tiles away close enough and bird book yes i've been wanting a bird book all right what's in this book Oh my god. Right, let's crawl in here. It's been so long since I've done this quest, and this place looks a lot 
larger than I remember. Really, you don't have to go that far. You don't you don't have to come that close to shout, I feel like. But if you've never done this quest, you probably thought that most of the tiles were gonna be spent getting to this place, but no, most of the tiles are actually gonna be spent inside of this place. Speaking of, before I continue, I actually have to unlock an entirely new place in Varrock, so let's go do that. Oh, what's the best way to do this? Probably from the rune shop. This is another dual purpose unlock though, because we're gonna have to come here for the biohazard storyline as well in the future. So you know what? Gonna give you guys a warning here not to get scared when I put this on because it's <laughs> the first time I saw this I got scared so I'm not actually an eagle right now it's literally it's just a costume so no way eagles built all this <laughs> let me tell you that there's there's just no way you want me to believe that an eagle built this net trap for me and I'm just gonna walk straight into it. Yeah, one winch cranked, two winch cranked, three winches cranked, four winches cranked. Oh, right, this is the one where I have to like inspect where the key went. This one's not even that bad compared to the last one. The last one is so bad for this and I genuinely don't think I have enough tiles to complete it. Oh, I feel so bad. Uh, okay, I don't feel that bad anymore. I need to get that feather. Um, I actually think it's worthwhile to telegraph this and literally just teleport out. Am I literally about to teleport out to save two tiles? Yes, I am. I don't want to walk back through. I have 154 tiles. I just want you to keep track of that. I don't think I have enough to finish this room. And that's the problem is I'm pretty sure if I don't finish in one go, I might have to restart. This room is just a bird seed slider puzzle. So we put bird seed in here and then we put bird seed in the other one. It's going to make me walk all the way around to push that lever. And this is why it sucks so bad. It's so so bad. I'm on like step three and I've gone through half my tiles that I had when I entered this room. <laughs> Whoever designed this quest knew I would be on a tile man 17 years later and just I still have to go into the middle room and actually get the feather so uh, I am so short on tiles it's not even funny. I have two tiles left over and we probably need like another 60 to complete that quest so I only got 55 defense last time I was here so I still need to get 60. I have something on the to-do list. After that I'm gonna figure out what I want to do for tiles but it's probably gonna be hunter so decided to just spend the day here and get the level i wasn't about to come back here for a third time after this so there it is 60 defense we are done it actually looks so beautiful i am so happy with that and i don't have to train at sandcrafts for the time being 77 combat level 135 tiles collected now i have to take my victory walk all the way over to the golden feather that these uh eagles have kept here for some reason. Hey man, I'm an eagle, you don't have to check, I swear. Yeah, I don't give a shit. This is what it's all been for, guys. This is what we've been waiting for. We're getting taught how to use a box trap. Okay, you can st stop using tiles in the cutscene. You don't need to do that, brother. Okay, um, we just have to take this ferret back to the RD Zoo and we are done with Eagle's Peak. I promise that's like the last time I'm gonna say that quest name. I've probably said it a lot. I'm so sorry. I'm so, so sorry. Charlie, you have no idea what I've just been through to get you this ferret, but I'm very glad I did. Eagle's Peak completed. Okay, that's the last time I'll say it. Not only do I get a minimal amount of Hunter XP, but I can now use Box Traps, and I've also unlocked the Eagle Teleports. Three of them. Eagle Transportation, that is. The Eagles in the Cove can take you to three different locations, and I'll be exploring those very soon. Because something I actually recently picked up about Desert Travel is that the Magic Carpet acts as if you're just running on the tiles. It doesn't technically take you over them, so... Magic carpets are not a good way for me to save tiles, so I'll have to be a little clever with how I decide to traverse the desert. In the meantime, I have a big master plan in order that's probably going to take me over 100 hours of gameplay to enact, so I have a lot of work to do, and I'll see you very soon with another episode. <laughs>